Get closer to election 2024. The most hope, high profile third party candidate in the race is guess who? Robert Kennedy Jr. Yeah. Mm -hmm. His whole family has disowned him on this, by the way. Uh, for years, he's been pushing these various conspiracy theories, and he may have found a soulmate and a running mate in Aaron Rodgers. Watch. Aaron Rodgers is battle tested. He's uh, he stood up. He's been hammered by the press. Stood up for things we believed, and I like that part of his character. He's a critical thinker, and I think we need that at the time as you know the rise of AI. We need people who understand that you cannot always trust authority just because somebody's in charge. It doesn't mean that they're telling you the truth. All righty then. <laughs> so who stands to lose the most if there is an RFK Jr. Aaron Rodgers third party ticket? Biden, Trump, or logic and reason? <laughs> <laughs> Tell us. Well, a court went out for the six and 10 Americans who didn't want the Trump versus Biden rematch, and now we might get throw in a little RFK and Aaron Rodgers. Yeah. Um, the, no one should sleep on the RFK factor, and here's why. He's consistently pulled around 10%. There are, a lot, there are millions of voters who we'd call, um, you know, lower informed voters who see Kennedy. They hear the name. He had this big Super Bowl ad that was basically recreating John F. Kennedy's campaign uh, ad, but using his voice. Didn't he say he in, didn't know anything? about that? Did well, believe that? He, it was his super PAC and he claimed he wasn't affiliated, but it's pinned on his Twitter account, so he clearly liked it. Yeah. Most people won't know that the Kennedy family has denounced him. They said they don't support him. But here's what we know. In 2016, if not for Jill Stein, Hillary Clinton very likely would have beat yes, Donald Trump. that is true. Uh, in three critical states. And RFK has the possibility to be a spoiler <coughs> in this race. There is an open question, does he take more from Trump or Biden? Current polls suggest that when you include him, he actually takes more support from Biden and ends up putting Trump over the margin of error. So no one should sleep on this, but I know both campaigns are paying attention to it. No, the only should thing sleep that could make lose sleep. Lo no, no one should. They shouldn't sleep on it. They should pay attention oh. and be very aware of the it. The only thing that could make RFK an RFK ticket worse and more kooky is adding Aaron Rodgers to the mix, right? Yeah. This is uh, a man who CNN has reported, Pamela Brown from CNN had conversations with him. This man has said that Sandy Hook was fake. Yeah. He has said that the children no, not, that it's died... Not exactly true. You're going to have to make a correction. Yeah. Uh, he, that, come that, out and say he knows it happened. No, he's, no he said it. He, he, he said it, and now he's, now he's denying it. But Pamela oh. Brown yeah. had a conversation with him when she was covering the Kentucky Derby where he told her yeah. that, it was, that it was an inside job, that the media was covering up for it, that uh, he has, you know, there's other sources that have said right. that he said that the children were actors and that the parents were actors. He's now changing his tune. Uh -huh. But this is the stuff he has said. I can't think of anything more hurtful. Wasn't Alex Jones? Uh, that's uh, he broke yeah, yeah, that's that's an Alex remark. And the harassment yeah. that those parents went through in yeah. the midst of their it's suffering horrible. because of conspiracy theories like this. So, I, I mean, I, it, it's, it's unexplicable. Isn't he also right. an anti-vaxxer? I mean, yeah. didn't, didn't yes. he get COVID and maybe possibly expose his entire team? To, to COVID or something like that happened? I don't know that he you can, says you can, he's not an anti-vaxxer, but he but, but he outright is. He, 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 he the He not only refused too. to he's take a, the, the, yeah, the uh, vaccine, he lied about it. Yeah. He said he was taking this something. This is Aaron or RFK? I believe R it was Aaron. Okay. Well, they're both anti-vaxxers. Both they're, both, they're both anti-vaxxers. RFK believes that vaccines cause autism. We know that's not true now. Not it's true. been debunked everywhere, everywhere. He also, this other crazy stuff, he says that um, exposure to pesticides contributes to gender dysphoria in children. Yeah, he's yes. out there. He's, he's very out there, and Aaron Rodgers is as well, so I think that's a nightmare ticket. Yeah. I, I think anti-vaxxers will certainly vote third party, but third party always spoils. Mm -hmm. Third party always spoils. And, and I want to just mention this. There's a recently formed group called Citizens to Save Our Republic. Oh, yeah. Um, and it's led by former House Minority Leader Richard Gephardt. And he's called on all third party candidates to sign a pledge to leave the race in six swing states by July 1st if they have not qualified in enough states to win the Electoral College. They're putting a lot of money behind it, a lot of advertisement. And he said this, Donald Trump tried to overthrow the federal government. That's the only thing to talk about in this election. We have to prevent someone coming to this office who will destroy the electoral process and this democracy. Yeah. And I think that is someone that people must listen to, should listen to, and they are really gearing up with the ad. So I'm not sure that this third party threat is, is actually going to be yeah, as but significant I, I would, as people say they are. I know the but polling is be. showing, what, I saw the polling you were talking about, Alyssa, that it shows that, uh, these uh, third party votes would slightly favor Trump. I yeah. would argue that 
Trump stands to lose slightly more than the polling showing. ABC talked to the Kennedy voters at a rally, and almost everyone said they'd vote for Trump uh, yeah. if RFK was not in it. And, um, Sorry, what I mean is Trump is, I think RFK is peeling from Trump because mm -hmm. not only is he a big character, they are those, I don't know if you correctly call them lower informed, but they're, that name recognition. They want a character, they want an over the top. But I do say that I hope the enthusiasm for a third party continues, not during this election, because I, I actually just think that, that ship has sailed. But as an independent who does not feel completely fulfilled by the parties as they stand, I do hope they keep this work going after this election and actually do the work before it's too I late. I agree yeah, with but, you about who but that it would affect Trump more because if you are a cuckoo yeah. head, anti-vaxxer, yeah. the likelihood is you're a Trump, uh, much more of a Trump supporter right. than a Biden supporter. I think we support. forget pre-COVID, most anti-vax sentiment was actually, it was a lot of California granola liberals. Yeah. In the MAGA era, it's a lot more on the right, but I don't know that, I, I think it's too hard to tell. It is. We get more. And there's the Jill Stein factor. I think we need to just remember that could happen. And our labels, they're out there Our case yeah, on the, the ballot in Nevada. Out. He's trying to get in the ballot in more of these battle. I have states. a legal note. Go, Go ahead. right ahead. Thank you. RFK Jr. denies that he is anti-vax. Well, I think Joe Biden should just get up at the podium and say, vote for me. I'm the only one who's not nuts. <laughs> <laughs> just say that.